Hello class, today we're going to be reviewing over chapter 6 um, the daily questions that we had and kind of go over some of the key things for this chapter. There will be a quiz tomorrow, so this is just our review for that quiz. So first we have an introduction to chemical reactions. Um, define chemical reactions and how do you know a chemical reaction has taken place. For a chemical reaction, um, basically it's a change um, where you change material to something new. So some things that you might notice is a production of a gas, um, precipitate was one of them, and that's where solid pieces form. Um, and basically with this one, um, you sometimes you'll see a smoke, you'll see fire, things like that. It depends on what type of reaction it is, but a lot of times you'll see a production of a gas, which will just be look like smoke kind of coming out of that particular reaction. Reactants are um, what you start with. So they come before the arrow in a chemical reaction. And products are um, the stuff you end with. Oh, after the reaction. Um, conservation of mass and energy. With this one, um, mass or energy cannot be created or destroyed. And so in a chemical reaction, we have to balance the chemical reaction to show that mass and energy have not been created or destroyed. Um, five reaction types. Make sure you look back over these. Um, I'm not going to put all of the information here, um, but synthesis is making a, um, a compound. Decomposition is breaking it down, so it's just the opposite of synthesis. Um, and so remember, synthesis, if we talked about homecoming, was the two individuals that showed up at the dance by themselves, but then they decided to uh, dance together at the party. Decomposition, the two showed up together, but they broke up during the party. Single replacement. Single replacement has the format where there's an element by itself on both sides of the equation and there's a compound on both sides of the equation. So in this one, um, you had a single person show up at the dance, you had a couple that showed up at the dance, and a single person took over the date for the couple, <laughs> took over one of the people, and somebody else ended up single at the dance. And then double replacement, everybody traded dance partners, so there's just lots of compounds in this one. Um, the fifth one that we had was combustion, and combustion has to have oxygen on the left side of the equation. Oxygen has to be there in order for it to start burning, and then there's water on the right side of the equation. So make sure you look back over these examples we had in our notes, and also look back over your worksheets where you've practiced those as well. All right, heat transfer and chemical reactions. You need to know the difference between endothermic and exothermic. So endothermic um, abs absorbs heat. And so it feels cold. It gets cold. Exothermic releases heat. So it gets hot. Um, activation energy is the total amount of energy needed for the reaction to take place. Um, explain how you could speed up a chemical reaction. So speeding up would be a catalyst and it lowers activation energy, it makes it happen faster. And how you could slow it down would be an inhibitor and that is going to increase activation energy and make it be slower. Um, so in our lab, we did a catalyst of increased temperature, and then it helped the reaction happen faster. And an inhibitor, what we did was decrease temperature to make it slow down, and we did that with the Alka-Seltzer tablets. Um, draw a chemical reaction graph, so it looks like this. Reactants are at the start. Um, these will be the reactants. Products are at the end. This is activation energy. If you decide to have a catalyst, it'll lower the activation energy. 
catalyst will be there. And if you use an inhibitor, it'll increase the activation energy. So that would be an inhibitor. Look back in your notes. I gave you a worksheet on that that we actually did together in class. So take a look back at that. All right, and then balancing chemical equations. Um, the purpose of balancing chemical equation is to show the conservation of mass. We can't create or destroy matter, so we have to balance it on each side. Um, coefficients are um, numbers in front of an element or compound. Basically just tells us the amount we need of a particular thing. And then practice balancing an equation. I'm going to encourage you to go to the other review that I did on um, the Balancing Act worksheet and go there and redo um, some of those problems and make sure that you know how to do them. Um, make sure you look back over those. You've had plenty of worksheets that you can practice on those as well and check your work in class.